something in the morning, like I'm gonna post this video in the morning, but good morning. It's your girl, Jasmine. And today I'm posting a very special video because someone sent me something for free for the first time and I'm excited. And they asked me to review it and I'm gonna give y'all my honest review. So before we get into the video, you can tell by the title what I'm doing. Um, I'm reviewing a planner that my friend Chanel sent me. I'm going to link her information many times throughout this video. So you're definitely going to be able to have it. And I'm also going to link it in the um, description for the video. I want to say link it in the bio. I'm going to link it in the description for the video so that you can find where to buy it, how to connect with Chanel, and how to um, purchase her previous planner that she put out um, last year and the year before last, because this is consistent, unlike somebody we know, me. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so um, today is Monday, March 7th, and yesterday I made a TikTok. I'm going to put that in too, right? Boop. So guys, I decided that I'm going to start posting every day like one productive thing that i do every day and i feel like that is going to number one help me be more productive and number two hopefully make me go viral because i'm going to be more consistent it's not that i want to go viral i just want a lot of followers on youtube so yeah follow my youtube i'm gonna post it right here but yeah so i'm gonna start tomorrow though because it's 8 53 p.m and I literally have not gotten out of my bed. But I was overproductive yesterday. I threw my boyfriend a whole party. I cooked all the food, cleaned, decorated. Then I got drunk at night. So, like, today today is, um, you know, I got a reason. I got a reason to be in bed all day. Today. So, starting tomorrow, I'm going I'm to try to be more productive. Yeah, yesterday I made a TikTok talking about how I was planning to be productive this week. I'm going to start with a week because anytime I try to give myself like a 30-day challenge, it don't work like that. So I'm going to start with a week, make my make sure I do one productive thing every day. I'm going to record it. That's going to help me with being productive. It's going to help me with being consistent and help me with um, having videos and stuff to record both for TikTok and for YouTube because TikTok is so like, so powerful. And I see it like what it does for people. And they got a meme that say, I see what you do for others, do it for me or whatever. But I see like the impact and the um, effect of TikTok. So hopefully I'm going to, you know, go a little viral on TikTok, get some more people over here because we have 99 subscribers, which is, to me, it's not good because I mean, 99 subscribers, 99 people subscribe, but 99 people don't watch my video. So I'm trying to at least get 99 people to watch every video, which means I gotta have way more subscribers than 99. Also, you know, I'm trying to get to where people can send me cute wigs and stuff, but this wig right here is literally sitting on top of my head. I got it installed last week and it stayed. Um, the wig was too small. It has so many issues. So like, it's literally, I'm rambling, but it's, the wig was too small. My own girl that did it, she, um, I'm gonna post a picture of how it looked before when it was done. She did such a good job working with what I had because I bought the wig, it was too small. She had to like cut it up and basically copy and paste, cut and paste this shit onto my head. And she did a great job. So it lasted for that whole week. Oh my God, I did so much. Then Saturday, I threw my boyfriend a party and things got crazy. I had to, I did the whole party, y'all. I decorated, cleaned, cooked, hosted the whole party. It was so, but it turned out so nice. But by Sunday, when I finally got out of bed at about four or five o'clock, my wig was like twisted. This side was, the whole side was lifted. So I just snatched the whole thing up. So it's no longer glued down. I don't want to see. It's no longer glued down. It's literally just a, like I actually come a little further. 
but it's literally just saying yes. So I don't even know what was the point of me telling y'all all of that. Like it's not embarrassing, but yeah. Um, besides that, I think I look kind of cute today. I got uh, y'all want to see a little outfit? You got this little cute Nike shirt. Nike. It's a Nike type of day. Nike sneakers and it's a check on these leggings. Oh, there is a check on these. I'm sorry, it was something in my damn shoe. I don't even want to show y'all what it is. Y'all gonna be like, what is this? Uh, STEM. If you know, you know. Let's get into this video. So like I said, my friend Chanel, she has a planner out and it's called the Undated Planner. I hope, <laughs> but I finally found out how to do picture in picture so I could do an accurate review of this planner. Now, I made a copy of it so y'all could see me go through it. I have one that has like some information in it that I don't want to share at the moment. So I made a copy of it and we're gonna go through it with the blank copy and then I'll just fill in stuff so you guys can see like how it works. I um, use Notability to do the planner because I know some of y'all got an iPad and when you got an iPad, it's um, different apps that you will use. Now the app that Chanel told me to use, uh, I'm trying to remember it off the top of my head, but I didn't use the app that she told me to use. Instead, I did mine with Notability. Let me go to her messages. She told me she'd been using it on XODO, Skodo. I don't know how you pronounce it for her surface and good notes for her map but I think she's using an iPad if I'm not mistaken because good notes for Mac is eight dollars and I ain't got that right now so but yeah I'm using notability so I'm going to show you how to use it with notability let's begin hopefully you can see what I'm doing I'm going over to notability and I'm opening my planner I'm gonna leave myself up. Um, notability, don't be embarrassing me right now because y'all know I ain't gonna be able to share it. Boom, here we go. Also guys, as you can see, I'm at work. So I'm gonna be interrupted in this video, but this shows you, this is life. This is my real life. I try to make, you know, make things work. I, um. I'm doing this at home because I'm moving next week. So I shut off the internet at my, I mean, I'm doing this at work because I'm moving next week. So I shut off the internet at my house. So this is the only time that I could use Zoom without using all of my data from my phone. So well, when you open the planner, hopefully you can see the top here. Maybe I should actually minimize it. There, boom, here we go, here we go, and I got it. So if you look here on the top, there's a few tools that you can use. This is for text, this is for like markup, they have a highlighter, eraser. So don't ask me what this is for because I haven't used it yet. And this is like just the clicker if you wanna click around. You can also do audio, which I haven't tried yet, but we're gonna get into it, we're gonna get into it, we're gonna get into a whole bunch of stuff. This is basically the home page to the planner. This is where you can find your index. You can put different things in and different um, icons that are here. Everything here is clickable, including the months here on the side column. I hope you can see the cursor. I believe you can. The months are clickable. It shows you this planner has 762 pages. Chanel was not playing, okay? I think everything is covered here. <laughs> and you know me, I do guided journals. I created a guided journal and I'm in the process of creating another one. And my thing is like, it is so hard 
to transfer it to be able to do it on the computer, like digitally, it is so difficult. So for her to have done this, trust me, it is like superb. Yes. So this is the front page of the planner. I'm gonna go through it and show you everything. We're just gonna click each icon and I'm gonna show you what each icon consists of. So this up here is the home bar. I'm pointing with my finger like y'all can see it, but this up here is the home bar. That's where you'll get your index and you could go from here to anywhere. Your calendar is here. And as I said, it's undated. So you can use this from now to 2099. You can use this for as long as your computer can pull up this program because it's undated. So we're in the month of March now. March started on a Tuesday because last Tuesday was my boyfriend's birthday and it was March 1st. Happy birthday to Sha. March started on a Tuesday. You go in there, you click on March. Then you can go up. I need to move this down a little bit. Go to this text button and you can put a text wherever you want. So I could put here, let me try to move it over. In this space, I could put a number one. Of course, my computer is gonna act like dial up at the moment. I could put a one there. And I know that's the first date of the week. Here, we could put a two. Second day of the week and so on and so on. So I'm not gonna fill in the whole calendar because I don't want this video to be 175 minutes. So this is where you will put date the whole calendar for March, put in all the numbers. Let's go back. This gonna, it's gonna be a quick run through, but I promise y'all, I'm gonna show y'all everything that we could do here for March. Look where we're at, back to the index page. Also, here you could put key dates, open it like this. They give you every month you could put in March. I'm going to put in that March 1st. I don't know why it's moving like this right now because it didn't do that before. The internet could be not at its best. It could be anything. Shaz birthday. And you know, you can move this around where you need to put it. I hate that it's doing this right now. Like I am embarrassed. What is happening? There you are. And there it is, March 1st, we can put Shah's birthday. So you can put all of your key dates in this specific area for the month. Next to that, we have yearly goals. You put it in here. What do you want to do for the year? This year, one of my goals is, my goal is to release a new journal. I'm going to put that on my goals list for the year. That's something that I want to do for the year. Back to the home page. And this is way easier on a iPad than it is on here because you know, on an iPad, everything is touch screen. You just touch what you want to do and do, 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 do. Here, I have to transfer between a text and a cursor. So it's a little more that you have to do if you use a Mac. So I do suggest that you use an iPad if you have one. Because you know, the rich people got an iPad. Matter of fact, yearly goal number two. My second goal for this year is to purchase an iPad. Like I said, it doesn't usually move this slow, but I'm working on a DOE internet and it's giving dial up today. But yeah, let's go back to our cursor and go back to the front page. Year at a glance. If you wanna check out your whole year at a glance, Boom, boom, boom. If you need to see more than one of your dates at a time, you can put all your stuff up in here, all of it. It gives you a number for each day of the year. You type it in, whatever you need to see on this. 
Now, one of my favorite things about this planner is this meal planner. I, I write, I write everything down. I literally have, let me find it in my notebook right now. I do this. It's like it's like Chanel lives in my brain. She lives in my brain, and she's gonna make my life so easy because she knows what kind of fool I am. It's like she lives in my brain. I swear. What I do here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but meal planning. She lives in my brain, so I can put down and meal planner. This could be used as a planner or it could be used for record keeping because sometimes you just want to see what you have. So as far as a planner, I will put in like what I want to eat for the week for breakfast. For breakfast, I'll probably, and this is not, it's not accurate. It's not accurate at the moment because I didn't have breakfast today. So for breakfast, say I will put a bagel with cream choose and it'll come up here and I can fit the box to the box and I can change the font size once my computer stops I can like dial up you can change the font size up here whatever you need to do so so let's go back to the main menu, daily routine. One thing I need to do is create a daily routine. It is important. It is important. So not right now, because don't need y'all in all of my B-U-S-I-N-E-S-S -S right now. But eventually I'm gonna, this, this might be, meal planner is my favorite, but this is the most important for me. I need to do a daily routine. This is so important. I'm telling you, Chanel lives in my head. I love her. But this also goes to show you how relatable these things are, how it's, we all need this. To-do list. I love a to-do list. I love and need a to-do list. Okay. To-do list. I'm going to... Minimize the font so y'all can see that in action, as you just seen. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna make it longer. First thing on my to-do list, upload this video. If I wanna make it smaller and it fits. I'm telling you, I love this thing. It's like, it's like a toy. It's like a toy. See it's something new, have it something new. A weekly schedule. A weekly schedule is important. Fill it out. Fill out your whole life. I feel like I need to, if I utilize this undated planner perfectly, my life would be mm, chef's kiss. My life would be mm, perfect. Let's say we want to fitness. It gets crazy. It gets crazy. Your fitness plan. What do you want to look like? First, you're gonna measure yourself. I am not putting my body measurements on here for y'all to see. Oop. I am not putting any of this information here for y'all to see, but you could also put in an image, which I love. I can't wait to put my picture of my big fat body right there. Obstacles I wanna overcome. I already know what I wanna, I already know one, so let me put it in. One obstacle that I need to overcome, binge eating. That's what y'all gonna get of my personal business. But yeah, this is fitness. Let me see. Yeah, that's fitness. You can also put in your medication. If you have medication, when you take it, the time, what you take, all of that. Um, am I still in fitness? Yeah, period. I have started filling it out. This color is for my regular, means I have a regular flow, heavy, light. It's good to also do this 
as it happens. Don't be like me a week later trying to remember what days your period was heavy. That's not going to work. You're going to push yourself up. Okay, so you switched to finance at the top. That means we're out of fitness. Now we got to go into finances. This is my, this is what I hate the most because one thing about me, I spend money. I spend money. I don't even know how to explain it. Like I keep putting it out and somehow God keep bringing it back. He might not bring all of it back. He might not bring it back exactly when I want it, but when I need it, he brings it back. He put, I find my way. So quickly, we're going to run through the finance section because I don't want to talk about finances, Chanel, but I know I, know I need to. So when you go to the finances, 30 day no spend challenge. Um, I'm going to start this in April because it ain't been one day in March that I ain't spent no money. Not one. You have motivations here, things that you might want, exceptions, things that you must buy. So like a metro card, you can't say I'm not spending no money on transportation. How am I get to work? Notes and total. How many days total did you not spend any money? Believe it or not, when you're a spender like me and you spend money every single day, if I check off three days on this calendar as no spend, that is a goal. I mean, that is an accomplishment because it's never a day when I don't spend money. This is very important. Let's go down to the next page. Debt tracker. Tractor. What am I saying? Debt tra debt tracker. Speak English, Jasmine. I can't do this right now because looking at it, my heart is breaking. I don't even want to, I don't want to talk about this, but it's important and it's stuff that needs to be explained. This is stuff that you need to do. I need to see who I owe. I need my account number. I need to see how much is my starting balance. What's my limit? Go through it. Once you start seeing how foolishly you're spending your money, you'll stop spending your money. Sometimes stuff got to just be put in your face for you to stop. I feel like expense tracker. What did you spend? What did you spend it on? Describe it and say if it's important because that's what I'm going to do on everything. Did I need to do that or not? The amount. See, look at how you're spending your money because just going to your, um, just going to your bank app and saying, oh, I spent this, I spent that. It's not good enough sometimes because you still spend it. You got to look yourself in the face. You got to say, I spent $94 at Sephora. I'm beautiful. Why didn't you just spend $94 at Sephora? I could have spent $64 and been happy. Like, you got to look at the stuff that you're doing. And this is very important to show you yourself. Finance overview, everything, your income, what you spent, your debt, your saving. All of that is important. I think this is the last page on this. Oh, subscription tracker. This is important. This is important because um, I forgot what month it was. I forgot what month it was. Coursera bust me in my head. I think they took like $160 or something like that from me. I called them up so fast like, um, can I get my money back? I, I can't afford it. I'm sorry. And sometimes you got to be honest with these subscription companies. Sometimes you got to be honest, especially if it's one day or the same day they took their money. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't afford this. I cannot afford this. I'm sorry I didn't stop the subscription on the right time. I cannot afford this. But this is important to show you so you're not, you're not like me. You're not running back like, um, excuse me, can I please have my money back? Because I got a bill to be paid. And um, if I'm homeless... I can't take no courses. I ain't got no internet on the streets. Please give me back my money. Oh no. Chanel got some stuff up here. I, I didn't even see this. A wish list tracker. Y'all know what I want. Let's put it in there. An iPad. I need an iPad. It is imperative that I get an iPad. 
I hate that this is moving so slowly because it's going to give you the impression that the app itself is moving slowly. And I promise y'all it's not. I promise y'all it's not. It is the internet in this building. Restore, where do you get an iPad from? Apple. Apple. We know who sell iPads, Apple. I don't even know how much an iPad is. I'm gonna make something up. And I'll just click it when I got it. But I don't know the price anyway. So I'll just, when I purchase it, I'll put the price of it right there. Go back to my cursor. I need my cursor. Let's go to the next page. Food journal. This is important. This is very, 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 very important. Um, this is important. I have colitis. I suffer from colitis. And a lot of the things that I eat make me sick. And I might not notice it at the moment. But with a food journal, I could say what I ate and drank. I could say how I felt after. And if there's a like a pattern, I could say, oh, it has to be this. Because every time I have eggs, I get sick. Or every time I have milk, I get sick. Yeah, this is the food journal. And you can put your calories, your carbs, your fat, protein, fiber. You can put everything on here. Put notes. Hold on. Um, the food journal, I would say to do it weekly or whenever you feel like sick or when you see stuff that you have a reaction to. Grocery list. Write what you need. Groceries are so expensive these days that it does not make sense to buy food and waste food. I went to the supermarket the other day. I'm going to insert a picture. I went to the supermarket the other day and a pack of lamb chops with three lollipop lamb chops in it. Three with $18 in change. Aggravated my entire soul. I was quick. Kitchen inventory, what do you have? When is it? This And this is, I'm not gonna lie, I might not use this. This is for people that are really organized. You gotta know the dates, but if you're going through your food one day, write it in, you don't have to. The good thing about this journal is you don't have to use every part every day. Use what you need when you need it. And use it forever. Use it forever, it's undated. Use it forever. Once you buy it, use it as many times as you need to. Clear it out um copy it and use it different times see how you was this year compare it to how you are next year it's i love this freaking planner monthly meal planner week one week two week three week four see what you eating see how you feeling after whatever you eat and take notes what lasted what didn't last what you need to improve on what you like what you didn't like all of that is important Recipe log. I love this. Take a picture of your food. One thing about me, I take pictures of my food. We know that. I just started a new um, highlight on my Instagram of food because the last Cooking with Jazz highlight that I had was um, full. So look, I just had to start a new highlight, Cooking with Jazz. That's not opening because it's embarrassing. See, different foods that I've been cooking. That's me buttering up some cornbread. This is some other food I cook. More food. Take a picture. Make a recipe. Something like this. You can monetize off of this. I could put in all this information. Next thing you know, take the same information. Copy it on my blog. Now I got a food blog based off of this planner. The planner is everything you want and need. Weekly meal planner. Do it in advance. Challenge tracker. Challenge yourself. Oh, did we switch to wellness? Yeah, that was nutrition. Now we're on wellness. This is why I wanted to go back and forth to the front, but catch up. Wellness, challenge tracker. What do you want to do? What is going to be your reward? What are the benefits? What are the possible setbacks? Ways to overcome your setback? Plan of action. How many days are you doing this? What I would suggest is, I'm not sure. Let me see if they have more than one. No, there's just one here. You do this challenge tracker. Once your challenge is complete, take a screenshot of it, keep it, empty it out, new challenge. You Next thing you know, every month, you're completing a new challenge. And it could be anything. 
It could be anything. Sometimes you just want to challenge yourself to walk every day. Sometimes you want to challenge yourself to buy a house. You could do anything. Gratitude journal. This is important. This is very important for your mental health. Don't forget to appreciate. Have gratitude. What are you grateful for? Appreciate. Because once you start focusing on what you don't have and what you don't do and all of that, you only mess yourself up. This helps you to appreciate yourself. I'm sorry, I got my face right there in the middle. I should have moved it. See today's intention. What do you what what are you intending to do? Positive thinking. Important. Write it down. You have a negative thought. Make it positive. Make it positive. Sometimes it's just that simple. Sometimes you just got to tell yourself, find a positive in that. Cup half full. This is my favorite thing in the world. This is my favorite thing in the world, a reading journal. Let me show y'all. Chanel lives in my head. I'm going to say it 500 million thousand times. Chanel lives in my head. Chanel lives in my head. I have a... um. Do I have a second to do that? I, I do. I have here. Let me see if I can find it without exposing all of my business. Google Chrome. Things first. Come over here. Do you see what? This is how you know. Do you see what it opens to? My Audible Library. I love a book. If it's one thing I love in this world, it's a book. I'm going to my Google Sheets. 2022 book list. These are the books that I'm reading, the title, the author, the date that I completed it, what I read it, and notes, if I have any notes on the book. These are the books that I want to read. This is my 2022 book list. Blue means I read it already. Black means I'm currently reading it. Yellow, I stopped. And I just didn't get into it. So I'm like I put here, couldn't get into it. We'll try it again. Literally, Chanel put this. It's here. Except I could put a picture of the book cover. I could put more information, all the thoughts, my favorite parts, my takeaway. She took my book list and upgraded it. That fast. I cannot wait to fill this out for my reading journal. Oh my God. Oh my God. I need to figure out if I could copy this. How many of this can I do? Oh my God, I cannot wait. Wheel of Life. This. This is where things get really like detailed, really important. I love this. I love this. I can't wait to tap into this. I didn't look at this before. This is my first time seeing this. I can't wait to tap into this. Love and romance, fun and recreation, personal and spiritual growth, business and career, money, health, professional development, family and friends. What was missing? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing is missing. My sis hit every beat. She hit every beat. Brain dump. Sometimes you just got to dump your brain. Dump in my brain. What do I want to say? The whole brain dump. I love this pen. It is going to get me together. And see, I'm although I'm a creator and I've created a journal, I'm not ashamed to say that this planner is what's going to help me create more journals this planner is what's going to help me sometimes you need that help this i'm sorry this is the productivity menu decisions list any decisions you need to make what's your problem what are the pros what are the cons what is the final decision what are you going to do next notes I should now hit every beat okay no stone left unturned focus goal Find something to focus on. Make it important. Make it intentional. Start date, end date. What's your plan of action? What are you doing? She, this planner does not miss. Start a project. Plan a project. What do you want to do? What are you going to do? When? Are, what are you going to do first? What are you going to do second? What are your milestones? What is your progress like? This, I love. I love this vision board because you could put in words or you could put, what did I do? You could put in words or you could put in pictures. 
vision board. And she broke it up. What is your vision for your health? What is your vision for your spirituality? What is your vision for your for fun? What, what, what does fun look like? What do you want to do for fun? What is your vision for finance? What is your vision for family, love, skills, career, personal vision, knowledge, relationship? Like, it's all there. A cleaning checklist. So, I'm going to skip past this because I don't like to talk about it. Because if y'all saw my depression house right now, and I always see TikToks about people with their depression room, and I'm like, wait till you bitches get an apartment. Your grocery list. Meal planner. Password log. I also have this as an Excel spreadsheet. Put it to spreadsheet. Put it together. Have everything in one place. I love this planner. You want to plan a trip? Plan yourself a trip. Everything is here. You know how they have those people that say, oh, my friend is an A1 planner. Be that friend. Be that A1 trip planner. Be that friend. She now has everything you need. Down to the temperature. The exchange rate on your money. Yeah. Honestly, I need to talk to her because Chanel, I know you're going to watch this. You did not miss. You literally did not miss. Weekly schedule is here. Here's your lined journal. Hold on. Let me see my cursor. You can go to the dashed journal. Dashed lines. Come on. Right lined. Come on, come on, come on. Left lined, blank spaces. The girl did not miss. Bottom line journal, top line journal, in case if you want to draw a picture, write what you got to write, draw your feelings. The girl did not miss. Wide line, narrow line, grid, blank. And then a bunch of pages. The girl did not miss. She did not miss. She did not miss 762 pages. This is your life plan. Go back to the front. And then I'm going to show you my absolute favorite part of this. The affirmation list. You got to talk to yourself. You got to affirm yourself sometimes. I am clear and focused. I trust myself. Making mistakes does not make me a failure. This is things that sometimes you want somebody to say to you, you gotta say it to yourself. Stop depending on other people, do it for yourself. This planner, I, I'ma tell, I'ma suggest, she should have named this the do it all yourself planner. Because with this planner, you don't need nobody to tell you nothing. You got it all right here. Everything that you need. I love this planner. Here's the tabs, if you wanna go to a certain month, Everything that you need is here. Let me stop sharing. I'm gonna stop sharing and I'm gonna a message to Chanel. This is part one thing. Okay, when I was doing my um adjust your crown, my guided journal, I called Chanel because I know she had already put out a planner. And I said, I just want you to look at what I have and tell me how you feel about it. And in the middle of me showing her what I have, she was like. Jasmine, why you needing me? She said, you already have everything that you need here. And you know, now, after I've seen this, I know that I could trust everything she said because when she said I had everything I needed, it's because she knew everything that I needed. And she probably was checking it off. Like she got this, 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 because she has everything. She killed this plan of life. My honest opinion, I love this. I cannot wait to use it every day. Even if I don't use it in order that it's supposed to be used in, even if I don't um, do everything that I'm supposed to do every day, there is a need for this planner every day of my life, every single day of my life. And once I give me an iPad, <laughs> child, <laughs> once I give me an iPad, you're not gonna be able to tell me nothing. I'm throwing this notebook clear out the window. I'm gonna be like, 
Got an apple pencil? I need to put that to Apple pencil, I'm gonna be like. Which I said? Let me write that in my notes. Boom, and I'm out of here. I need an iPad. All I need in life, all I need in this life is to is the iPad on this planner. And I mean that, and I mean that. Not just because the video is really not sponsored. Like, Chanel, you ain't pay me for this. But she showed me how I did, just like I showed her mine. She showed, and you know what? She bought my book. Chanel, I owe you another book. I got another book for you. Gift it, do what you gotta do. The next Adjust Your Crown is free, huh? But I'm telling you, this planner, no gas, no gas. Cause I wouldn't even went through all of that and did all of that. No gas, perfect. This is it. This is the one. This is the one. I cannot wait to put this video out because I want y'all to go get this planner. I need y'all to go get this planner. And that's all I'm gonna say. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you cop Chanel's planner. Go get this planner. And also, if anyone, anyone else wants to send me anything else to review, just bring it on back. Bring it on back, babe. Bring it back all night. Nah, I don't know why I'm singing. But yeah, um, I don't have a PO box because that's the only thing anybody ever sent me and it went straight to my email. So email me and we'll discuss how I could do a review. I'm doing reviews for free. Just send me the stuff. You don't got to pay me for nothing because I don't even have that big of a following. 99 people might see your product. That's all I could guarantee. 99 people have the opportunity to see your product. 